Hi everyone, uh, I have been drafted in um, to give you a little update on what's happened over the women's football over the weekend. Um, in terms of Arsenal, uh, we played Tottenham on Saturday. Um, there was one change to the lineup. Mariona came back in. Um, also, it's Williamson and uh, Kim Little's 150th appearance. Um, so that was what happened. Uh, we took a really fast early lead. Um, it came within a couple of minutes. Uh, it, it was a minute and a half, I think, when I saw that, that they had um, scored. Um, the ball was kind of being passed around. Uh, Leah played a ball uh, over the top. Freedom Arnhem had it down. Uh, we kind of played with it a little bit. And then it was put through to Alessi Russo uh, at the edge of the box, just a little bit inside the box and placed into the bottom corner. Um, so that was the start they would have hoped for. After that, it was pure domination. Um, Tottenham really struggled to get the ball for, for most of the first half, to be honest. Um, the second half, they had a, a little bit more, um, but from us scoring really early on I think that set them panicking um, and they looked kind of hesitant to do anything really in case of uh, in case of what we did so that kind of set the tone for the game um, and then taking it to the second goal um, it was 22 minutes in um, we got the ball on the halfway line we then, much like before, um, Leah played the ball forward. It was given to Marnham. Marnham given back to Kim. Um, it was placed back to Marnham's path at the edge of the box in open space and again slotted into the bottom corner. Um, so pretty routine stuff. All really well worked goals actually. Um, we've seen really some attacking uh, really great football to watch at the minute, which is wonderful to see. Um, and then we got to half time, we made a couple of changes, um, Black Stinnies being one of them. Uh, and for the third goal, we uh, got it from halfway, passed it outside uh, to the line. From the line, it was passed again inside. Uh, Freedom on and carried it a little bit. Played it into Mariona and then Mariona slotted it through to Stina um, to get the third goal. Again, from all the game, we had pretty much all the ball. I don't think Tottenham really had any chances of, of real danger, to be honest. Um, looking at the stats, uh, we had 61% possession, 8 shots on target and 15 shots to their three shots to their two on target so um in terms of like decisions that the ref had to make and stuff uh not really anything it's a couple of yellow cards for both teams um and that's it really um we now go on to the game on thursday in the champions league um and then i'm not sure after that we'll just have a look quickly to give you a little bit of an update. Uh, so, we have a game against Juventus um, on Thursday. Following week, uh, we have a game against Villa and then back in the Champions League. Um, a couple of days after. Then Liverpool uh, in the league, then Bayern for the last group game on the 18th. Um, so as always, the calendar is really stacked. Um, and then we kind of have a break till till January then. So uh, yeah, it's all looking good in terms of the position. Uh, we The position looks a little bit better in the table now. We sit Six points behind Chelsea in first, uh, a point behind Brighton in third. Uh, realistically, I think we can hope for third. Um, both Chelsea and Man City look immense this season. 
Uh, so qualifying for the Champions League is vital. Um, but obviously, you never know. If you can be an outsider and kind of push for it slowly, um, then we'll go for that. Uh, exciting to see what happens with the manager. I uh, think we should stick where we are at the minute. We're seeing some really nice football. Um, but I'm sure we'll talk about that more. Um, thanks for listening uh, and see you soon.